Let's take a look at some more examples. So in this diagram here, we have a four-sided shape, a quadrilateral, and a key property of quadrilaterals is the angles add up to 360 degrees. Now this angle here, that symbol represents a right angle, so that is 90 degrees. 120 plus 80 is 200, plus 90 is 290. So the difference between these two values is angle A. So angle A is 70 degrees. Okay, let's take a look at this next example. So the diagram below is a parallelogram, which is two pairs of equal angles. What is the size of angle B? So the equal, um, the pairs of angles are A and 70 are the same, and C and B are the same. So we know that if this angle here is 70 degrees, then A is also 70 degrees. Um, if you're not sure which angles are the same, which pairs of angles are the same, just, just take a look. This, this angle is clearly less than 90 degrees and this angle is more than 90 degrees. This angle is less, this angle is more, so therefore B and C match and A and the 70 match. So, so far we have 140 degrees in total. Now angles in a quadrilateral always add up to 360. So how many degrees are unaccounted for? Well, 360 minus 140 is 220. So angles C and B equal 220. But C and B are the same. So if we divide 220 by two, we can work out angle B and angle C and 220 degrees divided by two is 110. So C is 110 and B is 110. So what is the size of angle B? 110 degrees.